The Denby Railway Station was opened by the Vale of Clwyd Railway as part of its Rill to Denby line, which opened to a temporary terminus at Denby on the 22nd of October, 1858. The line ran south to a connection to the Chester and Holly Head Railway, to the west of Rill, an extension of the line from the point just to the south of Chester to Hollyhead Railway, which became known as Forred Junction. To Forred Pier was opened in August 1864. The Vale of Clwyd Railway located the headquarters at Denby Station, which was provided with a handsome stone-built building, which even had its own spire. Shortly after Denby Station opened, the Denby, Rithin and Corwin Railway began to build a line from Denby Station to Corwin. This new line, which made Denby a through station, opened in its entirety on the 6th of October 1864, and by this date services were being operated by the LNWR, who assumed operational control of the both Vale of Clwyd and Corwin Line on the 15th of July 1867. On the 12th of October 1869 another route was opened from Mould. This line connected to the Vale of Clwyd Line about a mile north of Denby Station. This completed the railway layout at Denby which now became a very important junction station. Denby Station only ever had one through platform, although it was well able to cope with the general traffic levels on the lines that served the station. The station was also provided with a bay platform at its northern end, which normally catered for rail services. Train services operated from Denby to Rill, Denby to Corwin and Chester to Denby. Some of the later services continued through to Rithin and a few services ran from Rill to Corwin. Services remained much the same throughout after the lines became part of the LMS in 1923. Denby was provided with an extensive goods facility at its northern end and it even had its own locomotive sheds. The first shed opened on the west side of the station in 1864 by the Vale of Clwyd Railway, worked by the LNWR and closed in 1870. It was replaced by two road buildings sited on the north end of the station and re-roofed in the LMS Louvre style between 1947 and 1948. That closed on the 19th of September 1955. Shortly after the railway was nationalised, passenger services went into decline. Now the first casualty of this was the Corwin service, which ended on the 31st of January 1953. But to compensate for that, Chester services were extended to run through to Rithin, which was still well used by passengers. The service along the Vale of Clwyd line to Rill was cut on the 19th of September 1955 and this left all stations Chester General to Rithin service which usually consisted of two coaches and by this date even some of these services only went as far as Denby. However British Railways obviously thought that Denby had a future because in 1957 they invested heavily in the railway infrastructure at Denby. A new signal box was opened which replaced two older boxes. The line from Denby to Mould was singled as far as Bodfari and as a result the lines out of the station to the north were altered so that they became two. One being the route to Mould and the other to Rill. Goods traffic at this time was still buoyant with services still running to Corwin, Chester and Rill. But the final service between Chester, Denby and Corwin 
ended on the 28th of April 1962 and Denby station closed. The mould line as far as Ridamuin was closed and lifted shortly after. This left only the line from Rill to Rithin, which closed on the 1st of March 1965, after which Denby disappeared from the railway map for good. Today, very little remains. Some sections of the platform can still be seen, and of course the bridge abutments show that the railway was once present here. <laughs>